friends, welcome to my kitchen once again. Today I'm bringing something I grew up eating and my mom will only do this when it was, uh, when they were in season. I'm gonna do green beans with shitties. Um, I mean, we're lucky here, we can find green beans all year long. So I make this quite often and all year long. Um, I cut the, the ends, I took the, the little pointy things and cleaned them up and I keep mine soaked in uh, water so they keep, um, they stay fresh. So let me show you what I have. So I have two and a half pounds of green beans in here. I have one onion. I have some, I might not use all this, this is the uh, bell pepper sauce. Uh, my Cherise already has um, pepper, so I'm just gonna use the, the bell pepper, no, no malagueta. I have one tablespoon of uh, bacon fat, two tablespoons of garlic, chopped garlic, two tablespoons of tomato paste, one tablespoon of thyme, uh, about a quarter cup of chopped parsley. I have two links of shooties, my own shooties, and then one link of um, linguiça. And then I have some chopped potatoes and some carrots, um, and then some wine and some chicken stock. So my mom would make this when beans were in season. Um, my dad planted the beans, so she would make this. So I'm gonna put my, um, start with my bacon fat. And if you don't have bacon fat, you can use olive oil, oil, whatever you use, doesn't have to. But I like to add that, that bacon fat in there. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil, maybe a tablespoon of olive oil. Of course, my mom had no recipe for this, so I had to come up and made my own recipe. I'm gonna put my onion. I'm gonna let my onion sweat. I'm gonna put my garlic. Um, my mom used to make this, and she also used to make kind of the same recipe when peas were in season. The only difference was she would not put the potatoes, and she would put crack some eggs in the peas, so you would have like these poached eggs inside the peas. Um, I remember us eating that too. I mean, we're very lucky these days that we can find all that um, available all year long. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of salt, just so that this onion starts sweating and it gets um, a little bit soft. And then I'm also gonna add my shiris. Um, that way it can start uh, releasing the oils um, from the shitties, that fat, and start rending it. So, so I'm gonna let this here, maybe for about four minutes. Friends, now I'm gonna put my um, tomato paste. My mom never put tomato paste. That's something I add on. She would just put the mulligata. And I'm gonna put that. And I'm gonna put half of this, maybe about two tablespoons of the pepper sauce, the bell pepper sauce. Okay. I wanted to show you a hack that I have. You know, you buy these little cans and then you use what you want, what you have, and then you don't know what to do with the rest. This is I learned and how to get everything out out of here, because you're scooping with a spoon. Well, I learned this on TikTok and it works perfect. You make a hole, you cut both ends, and then you push down the tomato sauce and it comes all out. Genius. I put mine, what I don't use, in a Ziploc bag. This goes in the freezer. Next time when I need it, I just take it out and it's done. So now my and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add probably half a cup of wine. Give or take. Never can go wrong with some wine. 
add all this. I'm going to add my um, thyme. My mom never had thyme. I love thyme and everything. Mix all this. And this is a very easy meal. Um, and you know, you try to get those kids to eat some more vegetables. Well, that's one way. And I'm gonna add my potatoes. And carrots because they take longer to cook. So we put that in first, and then we put the green beans. Green beans, you don't want them too mushy. So I always end up putting the potatoes. Mix all this. I have some chicken stock. I'm going to put a can of chicken stock. If you don't want to put chicken stock, you can put beef or, or you can just put water. And then I'm going to put some more. I rinse my uh, jar. And I'm going to add a cup of water. You kind of just want enough for those um, vegetables to be submerged. To be all submerged in there. And I'm going to cover this. It's going to be here maybe about, I'd say, 10 minutes. And I'll check in that, and then I'm going to add my, uh, my beans. And I'll be back. Okay, friends. It's been 15 minutes, and my potatoes are getting soft, but not mushy. So now, I'm going to add all my green beans in. And I don't cut them. You can cut them if you want to, if you don't like this, uh, them bigger. My mom used to cut them. I like them long. Doesn't bother me. So, add my green beans. And at this point, I only put one tablespoon of salt. I'm going to taste, see if it needs more salt. And, you know, if it needs more liquid because um, you want this, these beans to kind of stay submerged. I'm going to taste for salt. It's good, but if I'm going to add more, I'm going to add a little bit more water. Maybe about half a cup of water. And then I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt and that should be good enough. So now I'm going to cover and let this, those beans come boil. Like I said, they're, they're cooked, but they're not mushy. I don't like them when they're mushy. And I'm going to serve some to my plate. Here you have it my green beans with shitties and it smells delicious let me see mmm when beans are cooked but not mushy they still have a little crunch 
the carrots, everything is cooked. Mm. Very simple, very simple meal, but so, so fulfilling. This with some bread, delicious. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try it. It's very simple, very basic. And like I said, if you want to substitute the shitties, you can add some chicken instead, chicken thighs, chicken breast, or you can mix both if you want to change. But these basic ingredients that my mom used in pretty much everything she made. So here's it is another recipe from my cookbook, my mom's cookbook. And uh, well, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you try it. And if you like it, give me some thumbs up. I need thumbs up. And uh, uh, until next time, have a good day.